what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so friday night epic segment with the bloodline jay finally standing up to roman after three years of just being you know pretty much roman's errand boy whatever you want to call him roman's bitch at this point you can say that too three years of him dealing with that he finally stands up to roman after you know like acknowledging him and he he's out the bloodline with his brother and a lot of questions have been asked i'm gonna post this screenshot for you guys right now from twitter should jay uso dethrone roman reigns now this question has been brought up brought up a few times in this whole bloodline saga this is not a new question but now a lot of people are really ramping this question up and warning Jay Uso to the throne Roman after what he did on Friday night. And I get it. From a storyline perspective, it started with Jay. Obviously, Jimmy was out with in injury, so Jay was the only person there to really get this bloodline thing going. It started with Jay. Some people feel like it should end with Jay. My personal opinion on it and I, I believe I may have asked, uh, answered this question before, but it's even more relevant now with what happened on Friday night. My short form answer is no. I know a lot of us, or well, some of you guys, want Jay to be the guy to end this bloodline story and it ends with him. No. Now, I'm going to go into the reasons on why I say no, but let's play devil's advocate let's let's go with that fantasy booking jay is the one to do it right jay is the one to get the job done if for whatever reason vince mcmahon actually co-signs this and says oh, you know what we're gonna make jay the guy i just don't see it i just don't see it and even if they were to do it i don't think his title reign would be that long to be honest with you i don't I think the story here is Jimmy and Jay solidifying themselves as that 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 undeniable tag team. That's what we know them for. That's what we knew them for before the bloodline situation. And that's what they're going to still be known after all of this is done. It, it kind of doesn't make sense to it makes sense from a story perspective because it started with him but it doesn't make sense in a grand scheme of things when it's all said and done for jay to now all of a sudden really be the uh, the new tribal chief in a sense as you know the guy that's you know at the top of the company would it be a good gesture would it be an amazing story would the pop be crazy sure but i, I think the pop would be crazy if Lo roman lost the titles regardless you know, and I think it would be a little, obviously a uh, a great moment, but we don't need to kind of push him out there in that sense because that's not his role. We know that. Like at the end of the day, this is a situation where I don't think him being a singles competitor is needed right now, um, especially with the story that I'm trying to tell. Now, anything can happen anything can happen i'm not saying he couldn't get that couldn't be a main event i'm not saying people wouldn't even appreciate him as being a main eventer and being at the top i just don't see it happening and the story that they're trying to tell it kind of doesn't make sense for him to be in that situation anyway but i do think they will have a match i could see them having a match roman versus jay one-on-one -on -one for the title i can see that happening at SummerSlam. i honestly can see that i think that would be a good a uh, good uh, match for the title. So I could see that happening, ha them having one more match again. Obviously, I think Roman will still win, but I definitely can see them having that match. So it'll be interesting to see, but I do not think he needs to, needs to dethrone Roman. The only two people that it, it would make better sense with is obviously Cody to finish the story. We already know that. It probably won't happen to next year's WrestleMania. They can bring up the promos that cody was like once everyone leaves you will you'll be by yourself on this island of relevancy no one will be there and i, I hope they do bring that back like cody kind of foretelling the future here like he lost everything 
he doesn't have the bloodline with him he's by himself and now cody can capitalize on it so i do see that being the most logical and impossible route they go or or they could I'm not saying they should not i wouldn't trip if they did <laughs> But they could go with Solo Sokoa, and a lot of you guys have said Solo Sokoa should be the one to do it. A lot of you guys compare him to when uh, Batista started becoming uh, a very big babyface and, and dethroned uh, Triple H um, to become the new uh, World Heavyweight Champion outside, you know, once he, you know, kind of, um, once he kind of left Evolution and, you know, doing, started doing his own thing. Yes, I see the comparison, but no, this is a different situation. People like Solo, but I, I think it's a, that's a little bit too soon. I think it's too soon for Solo to just jump to that situation, to being dethroning, dethroning Roman. But I will say this. I wouldn't trip if they had a match with him, too. I wouldn't. Honestly. Honestly. I would not trip if at some point down the road, before we get to WrestleMania, when finally, whenever Solo hits Roman with that that great old Samoan spike, because you know it's coming. That's going to be probably one of the greatest Samoan spikes we see in WWE history. When he hits him with that Samoan spike, it's going to be fantastic. I can see them having a match then. I can see them maybe teasing Roman actually losing to Solo, but Roman still, he's beating everybody in his family now. I think that's the story they're going to eventually go through. Starting with the Usos, then it's going to start, then Solo's going to start realizing what's going on here. He's going to try to fight back. Roman will ultimately overpower him, but now he won't have no help. He'll be by himself. And I think it's going to be Roman versus everybody now. You know, so honestly... I wouldn't have a problem if they did try to pull the trigger with Solo. I just think it would be a little bit too soon. But I do think he will have a match. And I think that's, you know, it'll be just a situation to enhance the story, the bloodline deterioration story. De uh, deterioration story. I said it right, I think. Anywho, point I'm trying to make is I don't think Jay's going to be able to do it. I just, it, I know some of you guys want him to, but I don't think it's, he's going to. I don't think WWE views him as a main event player. They view him as a main event player in this story, but not the one to carry the title for the next couple of months or and or years. So I don't see that. Solo, possibly. Solo is a very big possible uh, possibility here, but I think they're going to continue to keep grooming him more. He will, at some point, I can see being a future world champion but I don't know if it's going to be at the cost of dethroning Roman. So that's just my takes on it. I still think they're going with Cody. But I want to get y'all takes in y'all fantasy booking on how y'all would do it. If y'all, I know there's some of you guys that want Jay to do it. If y'all were to do it, how would you book it? And then I know there's some of y'all that want a solo to do it. If y'all were to book it, how would you book it? jay or solo i think those are the two consensus right now still in the community that out in within the bloodline that people w would love to see dethrone roman and obviously the cody situation that's kind of a given so but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace